Hey love bugs, this is Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family. As always, thank you so much for the love and support. Anybody's new to my channel, you know, welcome. It's so good to have you. Um, if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe, hit that notification bell for all so you know when I'm about to upload my next video and if you feel like the videos just truly resonate with your soul your essence just your whole surrounding and it's just making so much sense and you are not alone you know go ahead and give a thumbs up share or even let me know where you're watching it from and just send me you know a message uh whether it's relating to that or just the comments you have about the video whether it's negative or positive you know hey everybody has a right to their opinion um anybody who's going through to get to you know, I'm sending so much love, energy your way. You know, it, a lot of times things can be stagnant. Certain things are trying to call you back to your old self. You know, your your weaknesses are truly being triggered or anything like that. Or you're just praying for, you know, an uplift in your life. You know, better, you know, circumstances. A clear mind, body, and soul. All that stuff. I'm sending you a million times fold on whatever your, you know, your request is to God that you do not speak to others about. Um, you're going to overcome this. Don't sleep on yourself. Use persistence, consistence, determination, discipline, and just, you know, hey, just keep giving yourself that self-love, okay? And when you keep doing that, nothing can go wrong. And even if it does, it's out of your control, and you're not allowing that to, you know, mess up your vibe. So um, anybody who's coming in with nefarious ass, you know, energy, Decepticon ass. Energy, Decepticon ass people. bless you that's all i'm gonna say it's just bless you i'm just it, it's not whatever you're wanting for somebody's reality whether it's mine or the collective or whatever is not going to be okay and I, i'm i'm claiming that for everybody and you allow yourself to say that to yourself whatever weapon formed against you will not prosper anything that's going against you does not bring you growth peace happiness love prosperity abundance in every way you rebuke it, you return it to sender 10 times false. So it is, so it will be, and so, you know, it will be done. <laughs> okay, the video I'm doing today is Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, you are no longer bearing other people's burdens. It was just like, I was... You know, I, I go through my, you know, my changes. You know, I'm, I'll tell y'all what's worth me speaking on, the experiences that I feel that other people are going through. I, I speak that, you know, from organically, transparency, you know, being authentic about that stuff. You know, when we're going through change and challenges, it's not easy. It's not. You know, you may have been that person where I'm seeing so much. When I'm telling you, it just makes me so emotionally happy when I see other people on that same path as me is where you're saying, you know, I remember when I used to go all the way out my way to prove to people I changed or I'm a good person or, you know, know my worth, you know, know I'm being genuine to you. You know, I want nothing but love and success and happiness for you, you know. Um, and then it is no matter what you did, people, you know, still want to overlook you, <laughs> you know, maybe feel like your accomplishments wasn't nothing or anything that you're trying to bring into fruition or manifest is never going to happen. You don't have enough money. You don't got enough followers. You ain't got enough likes. You know, you just don't have what it takes, you know, and it, I mean, these are the, it, it'll be just those things where when you're you know where people put you in isolation isolation but it's actually god's will and divine order for you being in solitude you know the enemy wants you to be in isolation wants you to feel like there's nobody there to support you or to make sure any kind of support is just banded from you you do not deserve that you know but it's all about your mindset you know if you regardless of you know of uh no matter what other people are doing you're you're just staying focused on you you've seen where no matter what you did you know it either stayed the same or it got worse with with different people and you know like i, was, I say many times in my videos you know i'm i'm very understanding when it comes to change you know to a certain extent you know what i'm saying it is not easy to face the different things on why you may hold toxicity 
or why you have abandonment issues or why you have neglect issues. You know, a lot of people may know your story because they may have been the person to put you in it. Uh, or, you know, people could do that unsubconsciously and just be toxic and don't even realize it's being toxic until somebody proves them otherwise. You know, um, a lot of times you are enabling toxicity. Like you ran from what was unfamiliar to you, you know, uh, foreign to you. Or even a lot of times when you've been treated so badly, when people come into your life that's genuine, that shit don't feel right. <laughs> you will sabotage it in a minute. I've been there, you know, where it, it was just like I prayed for a blessing, but God knew, spirit knew, universe knew how everything was going to unfold for you. You had to go through this. You know, I was watching a video the other day, and it made so much sense. Where a lot of times, um, whether you're a good man, good woman, or whatever, you, you may have not experienced love. You, you know, you may see it on TV, or you may see it in surroundings and stuff like that. Or you may even see it on social media. You know, a lot of times you got to understand when it's like social media, that could be that person's real authenticity. But there's a lot of times people will camouflage something or put a facade up to make you feel like everything is perfect. You know, if you look on YouTube, it's like with me, I'm on crime TV. You know, I'll be on crime o'clock all the time, you know, just learning different things about how people mind work. You know, when they're, when you can clearly see there's some kind of toxic stuff that people are doing where... They, when they're when they're too scared or this person is no longer in the living for them to get their get back you know it'll be different people that you that they may have that image of that person that you just just attest just you know wish death on top of you they could be dead already you wishing them a worse death you know anything like that where you pick a certain profile and they will start picking out all these type of people that kind of mirror something that they want to get back at just because of what that person did to them what they took away from them and their innocence could have been very m manipulated in any kind of way you know you know you know anything like that and you you were going through these things you know I, I've allowed y'all to know what I you know what I wanted to tell a lot like a lot of things that I speak on you know uh, where okay it was that moment where I really had to go in an uncomfortable, you know, an uncomfortable, you know, situation where I had to tell, you know, where I was guided to say, okay, these are the different things that you need to say. These are the different ways that you look at it. This is the different ways you understand. This was like part of your destiny, you know. But now it's like when you don't went through so much changes, and it's just like I had to bear my own pain. I had to live through other people's pain that they know that was their ultimate pain on going through, so they put me through it too. But guess what? The plot twist, the game changer, you overcome those things. You understand, and a lot of times you you weren't able to understand why you had to go through the roughness that you had to go through. Like that video I was talking about, I got ADD, y'all, and I'm having hell of a downloads, so stay with me. You know, I got OCD, ADD, anybody understand that we, we will cut subjects in quick and then go back to part two when we are on 24, okay, and go right back to that. Like, wait a minute, Rosalind, you weren't talking. Keep up. Keep up. Okay. Where they're saying that certain individuals had to go through this. Like, you picked the assignment. You picked the person. You picked the situation. You picked your circumstances. Like, why the did I do that? Because there'll be a lot of times like, I wish I could go back to day one. And when they handed me that goddamn on contract, my ass should have sit up here and listened to the fine print. Because it's like, oh, you got, you know, when you over here and planted, you know, whatever abundance or utopia, whatever the hell we were at. When we were full blown with two million daggone gifts like we were on and popping. You know, we, oh, that's all I got to do. I got to straighten out a genera generation. I got to go through foolery, befoolery, you know, uh, debauchery and all that daggone stuff. You know, I got to do this. Oh, I, man, you already know how that's going to be. But that, that, that fine print didn't tell you, oh, we're going to give you a measure. You won't have to learn your spirit, spiritual gifts all back from, you know, start back at one. 
hold a Brian McKnight. Anybody know Brian McKnight? He had that song, Start Back at One. You, you hold that. But you had to start back at one again. You had to go through trials, tribulations. You had to unlearn a lot of stuff. And that's what you're doing. These different things where people triggered you, abandoned you, abused you in some kind of way. When you allowed yourself to face this and say, you know what? No more am I allowing myself to stay angry at folks that don't want to change. I'm No more am I going to allow myself to play small, quiet, and water myself down to make other people comfortable. No more am I allowing myself to sit up here and worry about what people think when I speak about the truth that they did to me. And holding their asses accountable and responsible for the effed up choices they choose to continually, purposely make. When you become that person, you became that beast that cannot be tamed. Because you allowing yourself to be quiet when you have every right to be enraged. You are no longer allowing your pride and your ego to rule your choices of how you truly feel. Because that means you're moving through emotions. You're allowing yourself to know I'm giving that person in that situation or that thought so much energy. When that's exactly what it's supposed to be. When you're heading towards destiny, you cannot simply go to point A to point B. Some people can, but if you're watching this video and you can truly understand what I'm saying, you weren't that one. And a lot of times it can anger us when we had to go through. Why does stuff have to be so hard? I'm a good person. Why do people always constantly overlook me? Or, you see, um... Oh, Lord, who died this time? Oh, I don't know, but it's that rest in peace on some kind of horror truck group on Facebook. My bad. But, you know, going through these different things, and it's just like, this is, I had to face my fears. And my fears, your fears, is the worst kind of fears because a lot of times, and I said that in my video last week, um, how you had to go through the ultimate because there are some people who are like, what's your greatest fear? I had family ask me what was my greatest fear and made a point. Oh, well, let me go ahead and amp this up. Let me go ahead and put her in the worst fear and amp it up. Because this is going to be that thing that's going to wipe her out. They're never banked on you overcoming the obstacles, the different things that should have took you out. And you're still surviving. You're still in your right mind. You're making logical decisions. You're making boss bitch moves. You can be a dude and you say, I'm it is what it is. <laughs> you making balls bitch moves. Okay. You being very quiet about the executive moves you're making. You ain't making them little petty ante moves. Okay. And your pettiness, they'll think it's being petty. They'll be thinking that you're trying to get back at them. They'll be thinking that you're trying to show them tough, tough love. It's just the fact is, you know, you already understand. This is predictable. But also at the same time, be ready. So you can stay ready so you don't have to get ready. Expect the unexpected. Be able to have that mindset. you dealing with a lot of energies that there ain't no low blow that they won't connect to just to see you fail, just to see a reaction, just to see you hurt. But you have to allow yourself to know I'm better than this. I got goals I'm trying to reach. I got foundations that I'm building on. You know, I'm creating a better life for me. I'm standing in my truth. I didn't bring no new version of me. I brought the true version of me. You know, a lot of times we feel like we're on this journey to have the best version of ourselves. is like a, a version of ourselves that we're creating. And it is, but it's like a catch-22. This is a person where you coming back to original source. That's what you're doing. And now it's like you're starting to remember I have that confidence in myself. Even when things are really not going right. And a lot of times God will place confusion in your life. To see what you are more focused on. The things you can control. Like your mouth. Your focus. Your energy. What you put your thoughts into. What you put words out there for. Are you speaking growth into your life? Are you bringing destruction to your life? Are you learning from the toxic habits you had? Are you cutting away from people in situations that's no longer serving you? You understand it. This is what I had to go through. This is my fate. This is my destiny. 
I went through this, this, and this, and that. I had addictions of this, this, and this, and this, and that. I'm allowing myself to be understanding where I can be open and tell you about my darkest secrets. Because the fact is, I be damn, I'm at, on that mindset where I see other people be controlled. Because, oh, if you don't do what I tell you, I'm going to tell this, 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 and this, and that. And I will show the proof of this, 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 and this, and that. You know, knowing... This can construct, control, you know, destroy that person too. Especially if you know you played a big ass part in it. Not thinking about that, but they're in the mindset of control. There's a lot of people that you may be dealing with where it could have been a karmic spouse, karmic baby mama, karmic baby daddy. Okay, even karmic family, siblings, karmic children. You're going through a lot. And I mean, when you went through a lot, you went through a lot, okay? You went through a lot, and this mess done, like, you, like, man, I'm tired. I'm so damn tired. You go to God, and it's like, look, and he's like, this, what I'm putting you through is not for the weak. Whatever your growth is, you're connecting with, this is like where you say you want to be open. You want to be aware. You want to be able to use your magic in good ways. There's a lot of y'all are connecting to it where you're trying to understand, oh, this came out of the blue. No, baby, they've been preparing you for this since you came out the womb. Okay? You have probably caught hell since you came fresh out the mama. Okay? I'm cleaning that up because I'm like, hey, you ain't trying to go there, you know, but you were doing from the womb where you probably went through this like, oh, you know, I died a couple of times. I unalived a couple of times, you know, and came back some kind of way or it could have been something that you did purposely to yourself. And other people are like, if anybody else would have did this mess, they would have died or they, you know, this, they wouldn't be. You know, because a lot of things that people do to themselves just because of the pain that they deal with, anybody else would have probably been a veggie. But yet, some kind of way, you have overcome many of these things. You know, many of these things. You know, and it, it's just like now, it, you don't, when you start, you have to start thinking logically. You know, and now it's like more where I feel a lot of empaths are starting to hear your heart and your soul speak to you. Like before you weren't able to do that because you were in anger. You were in despair. You were in probably the self-destructive mode, self-sabotage mode. Not having faith in yourself. Not having belief in yourself. You had to go through all these certain things to take place into your life for the greater good of you. If you're dealing with people that are dealing with other third parties, trust and believe. If you are dealing with a narcissist, they are treating that new supply like they treated you. Okay? They are not getting any kind of better treatment. It's just the fact is with you, you don't figure out the game and then you don't call them on it. And you ain't going back. Now, now it's not, you aren't second guessing like, did I make the right moves? If you picked you, hell yes, you made the right move. If this is what you're needing to hear, you when you chose you. You chose what you want in life, not what, what other people want to be attached to or benefiting from or what they want for you. What do you want for you? And you start putting in action. You were asking God, how am I going to be able to do this? I don't got enough money to do that. I ain't got enough this. I ain't got that. You know, I'm struggling on a day-to-day -day basis. It's just by faith that you and you alone that I'm, you know, I'm going through life and I'm, I can rest my head at night and saying, God, thank you. You showing more gratitude. See, you showing more gratitude that God got you through that day. Not asking God, can I have a stress-free day? That's not how God in life and, you know, the unfolding works. You have to be able to adapt to when you're dealing with, through with good and you're going through it bad. And be heavy, heavy on that gratitude. You don't know. You know, I'll be telling you, know, sometimes I'll be mad at, at hell at my ancestors and my spirit guides. I'm like, whatever you're doing, you ain't doing it good enough because these motherfuckers ain't stopping. You know, that, and I'll be mad. I'm just like, it's just like when you pray for somebody. You really want them to go through their healing. 
and all of a sudden all hell break loose when you start praying or you start making an intention when you even doing you know spell work and this is not spell work to condemn anybody this ain't spell work to get out on somebody or get your last lick but this is like spiritual protection every time you see your birthday every time you see your birth year or the time you were born or people that are strongly connected to you even when they pass away you seeing their birthday that's a spiritual upgrade that's a spiritual awakening you're understanding parts of your truth like they're telling you to really trust the process and it's like when you're dealing with things that really try your patience when you have to work heavy on reminding yourself, look, this is happening for me. This is not happening to me. This is going to strengthen me. This is leveling me up. Anytime it's like, damn, I done just cleared out one situation. I got five more coming right back to after that. Because it's showing you, you strong enough to get over this. We had people traumatize you to trigger your spiritual gifts. Allow you to keep knowing yourself on the true surface. When that mess run deep. You're starting to find different levels of yourself that's taking place where you just like, uh-uh. I done had to heal my karma. I had to clear my slate. And I mean, God made sure I paid every debt towards that. Where your credit score is probably 920 on the spiritual factor. You know, it was like, you ain't, it was like credit karma. <laughs> okay, is credit karma is turned to credit dharma for you. Because you're seeing the mistakes you made impulsively. Or because you were feeling like you got a lick back. Or you don't cuss somebody out. You know. Where you know. This, this energy is like starving. They, I mean they. is. <coughs> I need that energy. I need that empath energy man. It ain't nothing like it to keep calling me. I'll be like you know Post Malone. Be itching like it's a habit. Like you've got people addicted to you. When you snatched your power back, you snatched your intentions back, you, you when you snatched your love back, you start pouring into yourself. Because then when it got to the point where people were all kind of people were connected, like you'd be surprised how folks are connected, where they want you to be seen like it's hard to love you. No matter how good you do and somebody even speak good on your name, they kind of contradict everything. To pray sell illusion on that. They have no problem with believing all the bad things about you. <laughs> you know, no problem with that. You had to have these different things where that person has potential. That person has strength. They have gifts. They have a power of source where... You, you, what is it? You're a rude awakening. You're a plot twist. You're a table flipper. You are a five-fold. And when I say five-fold, it's like fuck around and find out type energy people want to fuck around. they find out you start noticing when you took your power back it would it be a line of people that did some stuff and some kind of twist to fade away you somebody remind, remember what was done to you oh you know about such and such person it could have been at your job they lost their job because girl they got caught, caught stealing or they got caught embezzling Oh, this person got cancer. You know, all type of stuff. Or oh, this person don't lost their life. You And it's like, you ain't got no kind of hand in that. But you don't know what people have wished on you. What they're praying to God. That you don't allow yourself to sit up here and find. They do not want you to find that true you. Not the new you, but you got, only thing that's new about you like that is you got a new perspective. But then, it'll be familiar because this is something that you had way back when. It's like everything is repeating history for you. Seeing if you learned the lessons you learned. Seeing if you know you had that self-worth or that self-confidence and that self-endurance, that discipline, that persistence. Where you now allowing yourself to instead of running from challenges, you go head force like a freight train. You got people shook and booked like, what the hell is going on? That's like all the traps that we put on them, all the black magic. If you even feel like black magic going on you in your life and the universe allowed that to happen, they're showing you, I want you to know you can take this off. And if you feel like these people are trying to mess with you financially, 
or trying to mess with your livelihood, keep doing the work. Even if it may, it may feel like a, a setback because some stuff done came in and you got that vibe like, look, I'm on my grind. I'll be going for the bag. You don't chase it. You attract it. Like you creating what you need. Even if it may take a process to get, get back on that. Like I tell y'all, y'all go back on my videos when I first started. You know, it's like 3,500. You know, 3,500 or 30K, 60K or 150K and stuff like that. Now I'm like 10, 15. You know, used to have like two or 300 comments a day because I used to do 12 videos, 12 to 15 videos a day. You know, even on YouTube, it's like, oh, she got only 30 some odd videos. Yeah, that's it there for like three years. I know I'm over six, 6K in videos because I've been doing this for eight years. And high Bill was high into my my even though I was high too. I was smoking marijuana. <laughs> you know, I was high on every length, okay? But I was open. It guided me towards my truth. It guided me towards the experiences. I started picking up on my gifts that I had. Or the ones that I knew I always had, but I was always deemed that was mental illness. You know, being able to give messages to people that loved ones have passed you know be people that hit me up i don't go hit them up and say hey i got a message from your ass i don't, I don't, I don't do that <laughs> i don't do that it'll be somebody come talk to me and be on a one-in-one -one, and i don't even have to talk to you face to face or face on the phone it can be through email it can be through text text i said text messages text messages and all of a sudden your you you know that that guardian energy that's like i need you I, i'm trusting their life and their path in your hands. You're not doing this for benefit. You're not doing this for clout. You're not doing this for some kind of self gratification. You're doing this because it's your purpose. You've been doing this since you were little. You've been telling things that you, how the hell do you know that? Or different things where people try to cover it up and I would make a joke about it. Why, shoot, why are you being nice to me? Is, do I got a rich family member that left me everything and y'all try to get it? People are like, ooh, who told you that? You know, it would be like, that what the hell? You know, and I'd be, you know, joking about stuff like that. And then I realized my joke was a hell of a truth. You know, and going through these different things. Now, back on that third party. If you're dealing with somebody and you're dealing with a third party that has attachable third parties. Because I guarantee you there's more than one It was on rotation. They don't got a swift, swift sniff on the spiritual manipulation that was going around. And they went ahead and blocked that. Whatever that person is trying to do to you, your karmic attachment is trying to do to you, the third party is already doing. So whatever they're trying to get for you, oh, you're trying to leave me. Oh, you're trying to do what you can do and not have me get mine. Oh, no. We ain't working like that. So whatever your weaknesses are or whatever your weaknesses used to be, people are playing on that. You overcome so many of those pet peeves, so many of those triggers. That's why a lot of times you be mad as hell. Like, why is this person always trying to get a reaction? Or why are these people always trying to do stuff and make me want to take it personal? Now you are no longer taking what people do personal. A lot of times they do the same thing over and over again. It becomes predictable. But then you're open. You know, when desperate times is coming for desperate measures. You no longer carrying somebody else's burden because you like, I don't face all my fears. Hell, I don't face the fears that you don't placed on me. I took that mask off because my face was just perfect, just exactly the way it's supposed to be. I like the real me. I like the organic me. I like the authenticity of me, the transparency of me. I know I'm getting tongue tied, but you know, I, I like that new version of me. Well, that true me. It ain't no new version. It's just you you going, you're returning right back to your original state within your spiritual badass, badassness. Okay? Because you, you're badass in your shit. You're a spiritual assassin. You even make the God, I mean not God, but the devil shiver and quiver. Like, hold up. This jazz Barnabas ain't able to achieve nothing. Because everything, they were counting on you because they know 
They know the power, you know the power you carry. Your family know because every generation that comes in and you got sorcery in your family, you got witchery in your family, whatever it is. That is guided towards. It amplifies every new generation. Whether somebody, everybody's called, everybody has this gift, but not a lot of people are willing to walk in it. That was your birthright. That was your destiny. That was your freaking faith. Fate, and as well as you carrying in your faith of different things that's taking place into your life, where the hurt that people are constantly placing on you becomes your strength and I'm not talking about hitting and stuff like that but I'm talking about the emotional the mental the spiritual all these different things now when it comes to somebody where they're forcing their self upon you and I, I, I'm that's a whole different story but I'm talking about like when you're used to going through the emotional abuse the verbal abuse the psychological abuse where it's just like it's allowing myself to understand you know, there are some people that were supposed to be set up in assignment to protect you from the monsters, but they, they, they're not protecting you from the monsters because they are those. Okay. There's a lot of things in life where we wish people would do better. Okay. Oh, why don't they heal? You've been in a situation where people wanted you to heal at a certain time. You know, I, I remember I was like, boy, I was like a little terrorist back in the day. That's what they used to call me back in the day. Because I was like, uh-uh. I was with it. I woke up to violence. I woke up to, I wish it would. You know, I used to wake up to that until I was like, until my situation shook me to the core and allowed me to know myself on a whole different level and then being able to tell people this is what my dark moments were. I ain't gonna allow nobody, nobody to make me feel like some kind of way when I can say this is what my issues were. This is what my criminal record is this is what I used to do to make things work when I had kids to take care of you know I have no problem with telling people that because that's not my mindset <laughs> anymore that is what I've overcome when people got to sit up here and put a facade and make it feel like they perfect Patty and perfect Peter because they so worried about judgment if somebody don't like you half of the time the people that don't like you don't like themselves you know, you're no longer gullible. You're no longer, you know, naive. You're no longer allowing yourself to feel like, oh, just because this is my intention, I can guarantee the fact is that's not going to be their intention either. Bullshit, you better wake up. <laughs> no, you better wake up. I used to have that mindset I could be comfortable with telling people the different things I go on in my life and they get triggered by it and wished everything that goes opposite for something I was, I'm entitled to, I deserve in my life. Just because my my family is well known, my dad is is up there, you know, and got a lot of materialistic, low vibrational things that people seen as that was more important than a person that need closure, the person that need to know who they are in their bloodline, to know what has been stolen from them, what has been lied on them. You know, when you find out your whole life is a lie, that I mean, that, that does something to somebody's nervous system. But then when you allow yourself to not be the statistic. Like, I have to sit up here in public and apologize just for the stuff. You know, even when I used the Menendez brothers, when I started seeing the bottom line of all the stuff they under they went through. And I have to apologize for that because I said, well, I don't want to be like the, uh, you know, Menendez brothers. But you don't know what was going in that household, what people knew and to turn a blind eye. There's a lot of people that are speaking on their truth. But there's also a lot of people that's trying to be, you know, I want to do this Me Too movement because bank count kind of dry. You know, the truth going to come out regardless. If you know you went through that some kind of way God gonna tell your story better than you can okay even when it feel like you I mean you can have a whole whole army that's going against you and they feel like well we don't got them cornered we by yourself that person we got them isolated we got them with no kind of financial support spiritual support no kind of support and don't realize you don't know what is attached to this person you got to be careful on who you speak ill will on you got to be, you know, 
careful about who you put death on. Or what you stealing from folks. Folks be feeling like even when they see a whole tower moment. Like this is like a brutal tower moment. And people will see it and then their mindset where sense is not really common. Oh, I'm doing stuff different. I'm doing my whole depravity, depravity, and my befoolery, and my agree, and my debauchery. Anything that is like heavy diabolical. It's on a whole, whole new, di different channel than that. So that can't happen to me. You're starting to see a lot of stuff in this life where people, the main ones, and it's like now it ain't just, you know, the, how they say to keep the rich richer and the poor poor. Now it's not matter if you poor or rich. But God got this thing where he can be very messy when he want to be. Because I've been seeing it. And I'm like, you, you ain't with the shit today, is you? You know, I'm like, yeah. You know, and I'm like, oh, he about that life. Let me step out of the way. You know, let me step out. Because there's a lot of things to say no matter what's being said to you. No matter what somebody trying to get a reaction to. You keep your mouth shut. Your mind set on what the hell you trying to bring into your life. It's just like your elders be telling you keep your mind off them boys. Or keep your mind off them gals. And get your education. Because they going to always be here. You know, you got some folks that or needed to tell you that. You know. Be those different things. Keep your mind focused on your goals. What you trying to bring into fruition about your life. More and more. Every day you start noticing. My mind ain't on nothing negative. Any of the people and situations. I'm going to cut cords from. I'm not allowing myself to be focused on what people are doing. What kind of magic they putting on. What kind of cycle. is supposed to be over. All these things. This taking place, this giving you that spiritual notification, cycles are ending. Cords are being cut. You standing in your truth. You standing your ground. You're not allowing nobody to convince you choosing yourself was the wrong thing to do. Choosing the high road. Choosing to be quiet. Because that makes you look like a punk. The hell that don't? That makes you look like, the, is this worth my time? Is this what's adding towards... My plate of food of thought that's going to nourish me. Is this going to take me to my next level? Or are you speaking, are you communicating and conversing with somebody who got a mental maturity on their mind where you can say something that, hey, I don't like that or, hey, I disagree with that because you can still keep it real and say, hey, I don't follow that and still be cool with it. Not everybody going to agree with the things that you agree with. Or are they going to see the visions that you will only be chosen to see. You going through all these things for a reason. You be like, I be damn. It's just like I can when I say I was getting them downloads the last couple of days. Where I seen people start throwing off other people book bag. And even your own. Because you were going up to that mountain. There's a lot of people are seeing mountains. A lot of people are seeing snakes. And it depends on the vibration you are holding or your mindset. The vibration of snakes like being aware of your enemies. Okay. But then also a snake could be a moment of ending. It's like a rebirth. You know. Especially if you see a black one. And you see in it shed skin or you see, you know, that in your hot minds, your mind's eye. You ain't seeing it with your eyes, but you 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 see it through your mind's eye. You're more heavy on your intuition. And you're going by your gut. If that don't feel right or that person ain't right. Especially with all these changes is going. You know it's already heavy for you to even go through these changes. Where the old you is trying to call you back. I, my phone ain't even listed. I, I was like my whole my whole life is on do not disturb. Do not mess with me. You know do not complain me like that. You're going through all these different situations as soon as I said I have spiritual hiccups. So that's, ooh, confirmation. You know, I, no, everything is on do not disturb. Anything that's not, you are no longer responding to anything that's less than love. Or anything that's on that vibration because it's like, like I said, are you dealing with somebody where you can have a positive conversation with? A normal conversation. Where it's not based on calling each other out your names or saying low blows or your mama or your daddy in this this mess. You know? Or can you have a complete conversation? You gotta think about that. 
No matter if that person is like you really want them to see. This is what you're doing. And this is what's working on my nerves. This is what I'm not going to deal with this one. Your energy on being quiet shows so much. You showing them I deserve better. My, my mind is somewhere else. You are not worth my damn energy. This is not going for what I, you know, you had to be able to go through that. And now you're starting to see these transitions was necessary. It's purposeful. It, this is, you know, enlightening you in a lot of ways that you never expected. Now it's like when you start doing positive things like your mouth be speaking like, damn, I ain't meant to say that. Yes, the hell you did. Your soul meant to say that before you even end up saying something else. Or even when your mind be saying something, you see an image like this, shut up. <laughs> don't you say it because you know your mind went there, shut up. Don't put it in your mind. Don't say it in to yourself. Just welcome back. You just keep on going. <laughs> okay, just don't allow that. Welcome back. Just keep on going. Okay. And these are the different things that, you know, is taking place. So this is the end of benediction. I didn't know I was going to be talking this long. But, you know, I was in this video where you no longer accepting nobody's burdens. That is not your admission. That's not your token. And that's not the train you on. Okay? So you allow yourself to keep making them moves for you. Quietly. You keep cutting cords. Quietly. Anybody who's doing things against you will take the hint sooner or later on why you were no longer entertaining, condoning, or focusing on them. Because you got better things to be doing within you. Send a prayer. You can't even say mercy because God be like, no, they just refuse to heal. They refuse to change. They refuse to be in their truth. Hey, had the day and the months and the years and the destiny you deserve and all that karma figure that out. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video, y'all. I hope you know you were able to resonate with it. It brought you a couple of laughs, but it brought you some reassurance at the same time. You are not alone. You may be going through some different things in your life, but when you know all that love you were pouring into people that didn't, that slept on your energy, doubted you out, counted you out, disrespected you, made you feel this small, allow all that love that you were giving folks, take that back. And start pouring it into yourself. And watch how life unfolds. You ain't even got to speak on it. Put it in your mental. Because it's like you want to know if things are working in your favor. Just look. And I mean see. Not see. But see. Go with your intuition. Your intuition is speaking to you. About time when you're out of your, your feelings. And you already see being in this vibration is not working for me. You are finally being divinely guided. You know, divine intervention all took place. It all took place a minute ago, but now it's like you starting to get into that vibration where you starting to align to what they're finally, you know, you're finally willing to be able to be open to listen to. So much love. You know, if you feel generous enough to drop a donation, there's a cash app towards there. If you want to email me, DM me, all my social media handles is there in the description box below. I hope you have a blessed, safe week. Please be responsible and safe for everything you do, even through social distancing. Give out love, light within vibrations, frequencies, words of wisdom, and just love and kindness. That can really take somebody somewhere. And just because you're doing it from a selfless place, it's going to take you even further. So much love. God bless. Namaste. I say shalom. God bless. Much love to you. Peace and thank you.